Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, this is Whoopi speaking. And for today, we will try to make a levitation in this coil here with this magnet, a very big neo magnet. And the aim is to see if there is an inversion of the magnetic field when we pull this coil. Okay, explain. Okay, as you can see here, this is a coil. This is the neo mag. I will try to levitate inside this coil here. By doing this, I will pulse this coil with my 555 timer in a square wave. We will change the uh, 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 frequency from 250 to 500 hertz. By doing this, changing some, somehow the duty cycle, playing with a, a MOSFET here with a 12 volt in the power circuits here around. Very special here, as you can see, from the 12 volt we go to the amp meter then we have a 1 ohm resistor here and to measure the current here I put the probe, the main probe here the, and the ground probe here to the channel 2 to see uh, an image of the current across this shunt resistor All right. and then at the output of the coil we go with here the channel 1 with the main probe here second probe, uh, uh, ground probe is not connected because short circuits. Okay, and we'll see what happened. All right, let's go to the machine. Well, first of all, I will put 12 volt here. I put 12 volt. You see here the amp meter, but nothing happened at the prison because I didn't connect the 9 volt here for the timer. Okay, the timer is now on. Okay. I can vary the duty cycle here and the frequency here. Okay, this is my MOSFET. It is a IRFP460, very powerful, with a small uh, resistor in the here to shut very fully the MOSFET and a diode here. Okay, let's go now. The aim to see if it uh, we can levitate here. All right, let's go. Now we put some duty cycle. You hear here, and you see on the amp meter here, we'll go up to 200 milliamps now. The it is moving but not levitating. Okay, I increase now, and it levitates very well. Okay, the magnet is levitating. You can turn it here, you can push it here, push it down here, it comes back. You see? Very good. Okay, and now what happened at the scope? It is very interesting, the scope. Let's go. You see? Now you are here, the current, the current is always positive. Each pulse is positive. And here it is a duty cycle of the voltage. You see almost square, not very good square, but the short pulse here and the very strong flyback here. It is an inversion of the voltage, but not the current. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But now, why is this magnet levitating? It stay right in the middle, you know. You see it here? You can push it, come back. How it is possible as we have all this positive current that it doesn't jump out. I wonder why then I have to push it here and come back. I can push it here, you see? Even if some distance is levitates. If now I increase the frequency. Now it is much stronger. You see I can push it down here. Look at it. It take off already almost two centimeters down here comebacks. But why doesn't it jump outside here? It seems that there is a flux coming here and here. It could say perhaps, perhaps, when we are now at the high frequency, I go down now the frequency, I increase the duty cycle, you see, 
see the current increasing but no inversion in the current but what is creating this inversion of the polarity of the magnetic field this back EMF here oh, not back EMF this flyback spike all this I cannot understand perhaps some of you can explain this oh yes very interesting thank you very much UFO politics and other contributors as Farmand and Tsitfta and all the other school hey <laughs> flying magnets <laughs> okay thanks for watching good night at all